Podcast Ranger. And we're live, I guess. Well, Gar, it seems that since you missed out episode 200, Ichi doesn't even want to be around you anymore, even for the show. He actually told me that. He's like, if Gar's going to be on, whatever Gar's on, I'm not on. So good job. Did and now we have our, our other leader. Yeah. Who never is back. never here. I came back for the day. And his, and his lovely, lovely wife, Sancaster. Hi. Hello. I'm the blue caster today. But uh, yeah, Gar's back. Hi. Yeah, yeah. You've been off a while. Guilty as charged. <laughs> as I take off sunglasses and I realize <laughs> this is a video podcast. Oh my God. Or an audio podcast. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm supposed to give links to everybody in Discord, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, why do you need to get links? They don't need links. Um, but yeah, welcome to Extra Extra Cast Range, everyone. So, Ichi's not here. He's at YetiCon, and I, actually, I do remember that last year when uh, he went to YetiCon, we didn't do an episode of Cast Ranger because literally it would have just been me and Gar, and we were just like. You know what? No, let's let's not do an episode because I think we were also very exhausted last year. No, we were just worried about fucking it up because like we didn't Ichi didn't leave us with instructions and stuff, and we just we weren't prepared. So I was just like, fuck it, we're not doing an episode. Hi. So this time we got Ichi to leave make us a video tutorial it, it, of how the it, setup it, works. Okay. <laughs> to to be fair, it's a new house and a new setup. So even if I knew how we used to do it. Fuck if I know how we set this shit up. Yeah, here. but then I, I would, like I said, I've been listening to old episodes of Cast Ranger, and the episode where we did talked about episode two of Ghost, where it was just you, me, and Gar doing an episode. You were like, "Hey, I'm gonna take out this portable mic I have, audio recorder, and just record our episode on that." And it because that out. was easier, and it worked out so well too. It was God, amazing. Was it ever? Holy shit! Uh. No, I love that thing. I bring it to cons. I use it to record audio in rooms where there's bad acoustics. All right. Um. So let's go to our first uh, news story. All right. Um. So yeah, the Kamen Rider Zio silhouette teaser. So we kind of had like last year with Build, we had have like a silhouette picture of what uh, Zio is going to look like, and and honestly, it looks like one of the Pat Rangers. Uh, it's it's a it's like very rounded. Qu- qu- question one. Mm. What's a Zio? The next common rider. It's like um, it means like king, like some like yeah, emperor something. Oh, so it's king or emperor or something. So yeah. what the rumors have been going Sorry, around please. is, and because we've seen some spy shots too, apparently where like we saw like a, a suit that had like pieces of X eight on it, and so what we're all guessing is that he his base form is like a blank template of a suit, like like Deno platform for example. And he adds different part riders, like, suits as parts of him to, like, to fight. Because he's the 20th anniversary of Heisei. So, he's decade two. He's no, decade the minute, two. The minute you started talking, I was like, oh, this is no, this is Heisei Rider 20, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 20th oh, anniversary. We, yeah, got, we yeah. have to do something incorporating it's, all the other riders. It's like, oh, great. It's decade two. Great. You got half ass the whole entire series. I swear to God. Anniversary season. If they get Masahiro and Noe to come back, I will be so happy. Well, I mean, he came back for Decade. at least one uh, movie. If Decades actor no, comes no, back. No, no, I think like... that's Decades contract. It's like, for your show being canceled, every crossover movie will ask you if you want to come it, back. And then it, the movie I don't think it got back, canceled. It, it just literally got planned for less episodes because they didn't have a budget for it. He has a son. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he was like 19 when he did Decade. Yeah, but how many years ago was Decade? Uh, 2009. So, so he'd, still, he'd be he'd be old enough to like... I mean, if he started uh, start a family early. Well, he's so. been doing Garo. Or he did Garo. No, so. he, no, he's still in Garo. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still a really popular villain, apparently. Uh, I think... I think he went to a drive thing when he was filming Garo, and he did his decade pose, um, like the Daiso game. Also, another the other picture uh, shows um, 
his gimmick apparently for this year, Ooh, and it it's looks like it's 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 a no. <laughs> so this might be the mini discs that like we've always gotten the rumors for. So we might finally like so it might be circles. like riders and or, discs, or it's literally we don't even want to show the shape of it. So the, here here's a fucking black circle. No, but last year for and Bill's picture, we got the we got the bottle. Yeah, it's well, a bottle bitch, silhouette. Yeah, but bitch, bitch, it wouldn't be the first time a toy catalog didn't want to even show the silhouette, so they dropped a fucking black circle on it. Well, fine. It's like. I I mean, be desks. They do it all the time with Pokemon. 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 Yeah. It's like, a, yeah. But here's my idea on what they should do for the 20th Common Rider. Common Rider scene? No. <laughs> well, idea. yes, but uh, yes, but not yet. But not yet. See, Lord Hellfire, I wanna, I might get back to this. I'm just gonna flip through here because I haven't actually looked through the articles, and I don't know if that's one of the ones we already have. Or no, not. that came out today. Oh, okay. Then I'm definitely gonna bring. I'm gonna add it to the thing then. All right, but uh. Here's my idea on what they should do for the 20th Kamen Rider series. You know how in the old show riders, it was always like they get turned into cyborgs? Mm -hmm. Good. What if go. he is just a machine and he has to learn human emotions? Well, so he's like a kiter. Or a metalder, I mean. That'd be cool. Yeah. Anyways. So basically, like, he learns from the other riders' experiences of, like, like their gain, their loss... Like, their respect. Like, basically, how they felt when they were common Riders. You know what I'd like this series to do, though? If this is a series I'd about... I'd like this series to not be decade. No. But if this yeah. is if this is a series about a rider who tra uses the powers of other riders, which... So... Hey, Ultraman Orb, we want our fucking... I'm, so, Blaze, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put this out there. So, Gokai Silver. Yeah. Is Blaze is like, what if it's a kid who's a huge Ryder fan? For anybody who's not looking well, at the video and well, doesn't see his thing on there. Well, no, uh, in the video version, I'll have the Discord. Well, like I said, but if they're what, listening oh, yeah, to the audio, listening to the audio. And now, might as well repeat. And then, it. if this is going to be what it is, I have an idea for the secondary, and the th uh, third Ryder, and then the fourth Ryder. So the secondary Ryder is going to be a Ryder who uses the power of secondary no. Riders, and oh. then the third oh. one, third. No, you know what? The secondary Ryder is just going to be a. Uh, is going to be decade recast acting like a retard. Whoa, strong words, sir. Don't use that word. Actually, uh, here's an idea of what they could do. Set in the real world, like our world, and he is a common Rider fanboy. That literally what so Blaze a Kima Ranger. Said. Yes, oh that is God. literally what Blaze already Make said. The well, well, not a kid. So though. then, like like the average twenty year old. Oh God, hermit. And then make the fourth rider. A female rider who uses the powers of all the past female riders. Oh, good! She has two forms. Bob, <laughs> Monica, that Shuki. one, the uh, Shuki, that one Ix time so Mega Me was Ixa. So, what are the villains supposed to be called? I don't, we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know anything except for this image and the name. Just, Danette, we are we are honestly just going by a silhouette and making <laughs> yeah, it. Okay. It's the shape. It's the shape well, of them and the name. Yeah. That's all we got. Uh, no, okay, he's... so if it's going to be set in this time, then we make Doug Ford the villain boss. <laughs> Guys, it's gonna get that. <laughs> Guys, it's simple. It's common rider scene. The circle is a film reel. No. You insert the film reel into the driver. <laughs> you, you, it's a Blu-ray of the Rider series. <laughs> It's, no, it's like different genres, like western. No, it's different horror, rider Blu-rays. I'm Make calling it. It's it's rider Blu-rays. Anyways, uh, next we're... story. Think, moving yeah, on. We've definitely been on that story for way too long. Sorry. Moving on to the next story. Um, so the seventh Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger member officially revealed, and and this oh, story he's... and this story did come out like in the in between last week between when we actually recorded extra and when it got released. Yeah, like as, you know, as like always. Normal. As, as normal. always, major news comes out immediately after we record. <laughs> just, um, just like. But what I what can I say though? This guy looks fucking awesome, especially his Lupin outfit. I really what? like his Lupin outfit. Hi Tetsu from Decca Ranger. Um, so go down. Just go down, right? Okay. Uh, so the new seventh Ranger in the show will transform into a silver Lupin Ranger and a gold Powder Ranger. Um, the character's name is Noel Takao and is played by Seiya Motoki. Takao is a member of the French Global Police Branch, of which the Power Rangers represent the Japanese branch. As a character, Noel will play both sides of the field, confusing the teams in battle while briefing, befriending them in his human guise. He's described as a mysterious person who knows a variety of things about both teams and whose mind is always moving. 
Uh, Seiya says he feels people should focus on Kogure, the mysterious benefactor of the Lupin Ranger, who appears to be hiding something from the team. I got you. He's Kogure's son. Maybe. I like to... I, he's I, my the theory actual... He's, he's the, the he's actual the master. current master. He's the master of the collection. Family. I oh. swear, that's probably who he is. Six Ranger usually always has, like, some identity. That's great, though. I'm glad we have confirmation that this guy's just gonna fuck with both of them. And just confuse the hell of it. Oh, man! Man, that Lupin Silver is, uh, uh, was really good. Oh, man, I wish we had a patron... Again, his concept reminds me of an old Transformer named Punch and Counterpunch, where he was an Autobot that could disguise himself as a Decepticon. Mm -hmm. Where it was just like a flip. Like flipping body. Boom. <laughs> Different character. Right. It's like, oh man, like the sword looks a bit dumb. I, I wish Patrick X was here to help us right now. Okay. Like if they if they don't get like very soon that like he's the same fucking person, god they're idiots. <laughs> oh, you mean how like the Pat Rangers haven't discovered that, you know, the people that they go to the cafe with are the looking. I mean they, they, they sure has a suspicion now. They're, they're they keep getting suspicious of We've all approved their alibis, though. Yeah, but things keep happening that keep oh. making us wonder. No, L Lord Hellfire makes a lot more sense. He's sideways from Transformers Armada. He played the Autobots and the Decepticons. There you go. Uh, was cool. But yeah, no, I, I love I love his designs. I'm I'm like again, I can't say it enough. I'm like super excited. I for still this guy. don't like gold. I think it's just because of the trench coat. Yeah, uh, I like the coat. Like, yeah, gold does look a little weird. Whereas, oh man, Lupin Silver. Yeah, I know. Right? He, he's very like, beautiful. Lupin Silver, so, like Lu yeah, Lupin Silver. Lupin does, X. Whatever, Lupin Silver. Uh, okay. Lupin Silver is beyond gorgeous. That was not That one there is like I can't even like the trench coat because like I can't I can't picture it in any in any color that would look good at all. It's just, well, no, it's, I, I think it's, it's design. I think it's because his leggings is white and like gold and white don't no. really go well with each other. I think it'll look better in action. It's all. It's also. I think it's just. Uh, like it's me. like the shape. Because uh, like the it's like very the trench coat is like it's very wide, uh, wide and like he's really skinny. So like the it's almost like it's drowning him. I think like the coat's the, drowning him. I think the only way it could work is if his leggings were also gold. That way, it's like all one color. Also, I, do, I kind of appreciate how his mouthpiece changes color depending on which one he is. Mm -hmm. it, it, when he's in gold mode, it's silver, but when he's in silver mode, it's gold. Um, also, apparently, the actor is trained in parkour, having begun at 16 years old and has an accomplished career on stage, which makes sense where he showed up for the movie, like, uh, press conference for the movies, and uh, he, he, he did he did a flip on stage. He portrayed Naruto Uzumaki in the Naruto Live Spectacular. Yeah, Uzumaki. so he plays Naruto on stage. Oh, fun! La got... Ladies and gentlemen, why he did that? Cool. They believe it. Right? <laughs> no, not the bio. That's his line. The sub. All right, moving on. I don't. Yep, moving on. So cool. I'm excited for this guy. He's Boruto's dad. <laughs> Uh, next up, Lupin Ranger vs. Paddle Ranger and Kamen Rider build summer movie trailers online. And posters. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, the Kamen Rider movie is called the Kamen Rider build the movie Be the One. So, woo, original title. Oh my so, god. So man. good. Hey, it's better than the next day. It's true ending. Oh yeah, we have three other movies called Another Ending. Yeah. And then just... It's a video game series. They did a true ending. Oh, you mean that, how, like Final Fantasy? It's like th th it's Final Fantasy. It's the final one. Yeah, because he thought no, it was gonna like suck. Like Persona. Oh. <laughs> you ever played Persona Four? No. Trust me. There's about there's about two or three bad endings. The ending, and then the true ending. Oh, so it's, so it's like Return of the King, where there's multiple endings. And then uh, the Lupin Ra Ranger Paddle Ranger film is called Lupin Ranger versus Paddle Ranger on film. It's <laughs> French. What? Get it. And, it, and it has Herlock Sholmes in it. Yeah, Her Herlock Sholmes is gonna show up in it. Yeah. The oh, yeah. The, the yeah, I know. Character. You know him, Darlene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, God. Yeah, it's he's in the poster right there. Go oh down. God. Herlock Sholmes. Oh God. Yeah, Herlock Sholmes. Oh, uh, I'm glad. I am so glad they called him that. Oh. Well, I explained oh. in the last time we talked about when we talked about his character in the extra. I was like, yeah, he's from Knighthood. 
He's the character that Lupin Lupin's author wanted. Yeah, uh, he's he's. This is what happened when the guy who wrote the Arsene Lupin novels wanted to use Sherlock Holmes in one of his books as an opponent, but couldn't technically get the rights to use it. So he just Sherlock Holmes. And, he, and no one questioned them? No, he got away with it because the ac- the actual author of the uh, Sherlock Holmes novels was okay with it, but his publisher wasn't. Yeah, no. Ar- so Sir so Arthur- he, he literally like, I ain't saying shit. Yeah, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was like, oh yeah, no, that's fine. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Someone made a fan-made poster of Count Ryder Bill be the one. Wow, yeah. It's the John Wick poster, but with Bill. That's actually really good. Yeah. Nice. Because that's where fuck it, that's the thumbnail uh, for extra. Uh, funniest thing, that's where the John Wick movie franchise is going right now. Whoa. Every assassin in the world is after John Wick. Yeah, and they're not going to succeed. Oh no, he's he's probably going to go out dying, like a boss though. But yeah, so these movies are probably going to be cool. But yeah, Herlock Jones is in. So yeah, yeah, no, I, I I very much appreciate that they named him that and not actually trying to make him Sherlock Holmes. No, they that, that's that, is that, 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 that like super popular yes, in Japan? Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes, he is. So Sherlock though. So it's it was it's a toss up. Who's that guy in the bill poster? Oh, on the left. Yeah, that's we don't know Common what his Rider Rider name blood. is. Oh, what? It's Ben right. right there. Aiding in this annihilation plan is a powerful new rider, Common Rider Blood. Oh, uh, so it's not Common Rider Science, like one of the rumors' names were. No, that's that not just E.G. So E.G. is gonna be sad. He looks uh, cool though. He looks like cross crossed over with Dark Kiva. See, all I'm seeing is a red guy and then a blue guy, and I'm like, if it's Common Rider Blood, what's the other one? And a red and blue guy. I was gonna say like. Well, the one what? on the right's cross. Common Rider Blood, yeah. and then Common Rider that, Crips. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. That's, that's like, cross. That's Rider Crips. That's Bill. Well, that's yeah, that's, that's blood. It's a build us the DNA digi evolution. No, I was saying one side is Comrade of Bloods, the other side is Comrade of Crips. Yeah, you know the Bloods and the Crips. Uh, anyway, oh, let's great. move on from that. Yeah. Um. Next up, here's a picture of Comrade of Blood. Look at that. Jesus. Yeah. Blood like I said, hate? he looks like Cross mixed with Dark Kiva. A little bit. Yeah. Are like you I can sure see some. not Dark Kiva. Like like Heisei version Dark Kiva. Pretty much. Because remember, Dark Kiva. I mean, ra- rather o- rather obvious evil driver going. Just... <laughs> oh wait, hello, look at that. Yeah, it's the cross thingy. Yeah, yeah. so it, yeah, so it's like a different dragon bottle used with the special, like the great cross dragon, and then. Okay, Thunderbuster Orb made the funniest thing. I want a cameo from Kamen Rider Lupin in the Lupin vs. Pat Ranger film. Yes! Definitely! <laughs> Kamen Rider Lupin was awesome! And just, he shows up, fights some mooks. And just, who are you? Oh, just a friend. Yeah. <laughs> just next day, how many times do we need to teach you the same lesson, yeah, Every man. time Dan comes back to, her t- to try and take over the world. I love the young people. Pretty much. Um, so yeah, no, Blood's design's pretty cool. He... That looks like what a villain rider should look oh like. God, yeah. looks like like he's got man. he's got the cape and then he's got like those like you know when you see like a like a famous like the conqueror or something with like like Napoleon with his yeah. cape he had like the the ropes on the shoulders like he's got those. So is he supposed to be the villain? Yeah, he's the villain of the movie. Okay, so if he's if he's uh not like the top if he's not if he's one of the lower villains, can you imagine what the uh, villain above him like his boss would be like? Yeah. Well, I think. The- well, I think like this takes place after the series, right? Yeah. So I mean, the series will be I think, will be I think over it's some guy who just comes out, in and so. goes, "Hey, I want to take over the country this time." That's cute. Go in the corner. <laughs> Evolt will kill you. Evolt's probably dead. Mmm, dead. For we'll all, see about that. For all that we know, Evolt's gonna die at the end of the series, or if anything, he's gonna go fly off in the space. Yeah, build my planet needs me <laughs> build to destroy it. He doesn't have a plan. He goes from plan to plan, destroying everything. <laughs> now I am going to leave this I mean, planet. He's done, Armand. I, I mean, Blaze, you might not be terribly off. I mean, let, let's not forget that he was just Blood Stark for the longest time in the series. So calling him Common Rider Blood is not exactly a far reaching thing. Guys, I think that's a vault. How can you tell? His name oh, is actually, mm-hmm. 
the fact that he's used well i mean aside from the fact that we saw him fighting bonjo in the uh tri in the poster what if this is like what katsuragi was all worried about and that's actually bonjo becoming a volt because he's using the Dragon Ball, right? Oh, maybe. No, but I think we've seen him with a guy who transforms into him. Ah, okay. Then well, that's... Well, that might sound be... theory, though. I like that. I'm that's just, better. I'm just saying that's better. Like, he's... Uh, you know what? They were going on and on about how, oh, well, I think Bonjo could regain oh, his yeah, memories evolved, and become evolved, like, You're me. Don't forget that. So the fact that he's using the Dragon Bottle, well, then you never know. Mm -hmm. Just evil, man. Yeah. Anyways. Evolt. 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 Yeah, evil. Yeah. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, so next story, Connor Belden and Olympic Ranger, Power Rangers Summer Movie Premium Items Revealed. So we have... <laughs> Lazy. Oh, I like the blue one. <coughs> Expensive. Yeah, but okay, so if we go down and look at the Belden movie items, so we get a gold rabbit and silver dragon bottles. And I gotta say, Lazy, but God, are those gorgeous looking. Like, holy shit. Hey, remember back in the day when they would release, like, movie sets for for uh, the Kamen Riders, and it would include the new gimmick for the next rider? I know, Gar. No, I don't. Those yeah. were happier times. Yeah, now it's like, oh, you want the exclusive form? Yeah. You have to go to the theater to get it. Yeah. No, well, the, last time they, the last time they fucking did that was with uh, the Newton icon. <laughs> God damn it! Damn it! Um, but yeah, so the, the yeah those those still look pretty. I like those. They'll probably have different uh, things on the back. I hope so. And back. then for the and then there's this lazy shit. Powder Ranger. We have Looks the like BS vehicle music set. So oh, is they it going of, to play the opening? Okay, they kind of remind me of something you'd find in a Kinder toy. You no, know, you know what the funny part is? They're smaller. Like they, they're not like DX. They look like size. They look they're, like they're dollar small. store bootlegs. Yeah, no, the, those are no, the, they've been very lazy. Kinder with these toys. You know, it's meat in the middle. Happy Meal toys. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, only twenty five thousand of the bottles are being made, and only fifteen thousand of the VS vehicles are made nationwide. So. Uh, Wasn't the Zero Specter icon the movie exclusive that year uh, for Ghost? What? Sorry, say again. Wasn't for the Ghost Summer movie uh, the. It, the limited item was the uh, Zero Spectre icon. Yeah. 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 And it just played the Spectre chime. It was yeah. lazy. Oh, right. They're always lazy. Uh, 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 hey, hey, remember the Zoo Ogier summer movie items that were literally just recolors of fucking ones we already had? Condor? Yeah. yeah. Cute Condor? But yeah, but it was fucking cool. All right. Uh, moving on. Moving on past this lazy crap. <laughs> Uh, Tetsuya Iwanaga, who plays Dan Kuroto, teases new X8 material because no, he's still riding off his fucking Dan popularity. End. No. Stop. But Dan Kuroto's the best thing he's ever done. Fuck off. <laughs> you haven't watched Kenby vs. Laser yet, so you don't understand. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that tomorrow when I'm here all alone because apparently everyone's fucking off. Well, that's what happens when you abandon us. Well, I mean, I mean, everyone else is going to be over tomorrow at some point, apparently. Oh. So you ain't gonna be alone. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Shadowcaster remember him saying, yeah, Shadow cool, we can invade the yeah. living room. Shadowcaster, Whitecaster, and maybe Chuck. <laughs> maybe. Chuck. Chuckcaster. <laughs> you don't know him. Chuck's our true leader. Um, so, yeah, the actor who played Dan Corrado, the villain during the first half of Comrade Rexay, posted a new piece of art featuring many of the Comrade Riders from Comrade Rexay, along with the piece of art he teased it seems like something is going to start soon. More info will come as it becomes available. So I guess we're getting another x thing. Yeah. Yeah, x yeah. the new guy. Woo! x the new Deno. It's just going to keep going until we're everyone's... Going, we're going to have like 10 gonna, movies. We're going to keep making movies based on this show until we absolutely run it into the ground and nobody buys our shit anymore. Build? What's yes. that? <laughs> nope. No, no. Raven. Raven's got it. That's it. it That's how this works. It, it, it's just going to go fight. straight no, no. to the ground. Th this happens every time they make a writer series that they make these... And I, at very least, this time it's X-Aid. Because uh, like X-Aid was good. So, at very least... Cool, we have that. Deno was kind of... Oh my god, why does this need to exist? Deno lasted but, to like... 
2011 it was or so 12, it was so please? it was so kid friendly that they were just like oh hey let's do this also it was so easy to fucking do deno because it was voice actors playing the characters not actual actors who age yeah but you still need to get those suit actors to come back for yeah, those it's suit actors why why does the red guy suit kind of remind me of like oh that's uh, pink the, it's pink it's not red it's pink. yeah it reminds me of like a uh n64 controller because they're game based off video games it's a ah, video game okay. theme con writer, yeah. So no. it's what, like, X-A the... <laughs> I almost ruined this show for both these guys, because I kept typing it up so much before it came out. Yeah, and we talked about that when we were Pokemon. Yeah, one. and then I, wa- I watched it, and I was like, okay, this is actually pretty decent. And, yeah, same here, and then, then episode 13 happened, and then the show just went to shit for me. Yeah. No, you, you, the show went to shit for you when Dan came back. No, the show went to shit after freaking Kyria died. Because, you know, I was... I, I liked Kyria before everyone started liking him. Mm-hmm. Just saying. You yeah, shut yeah. your whore mouth. Whoa. Anyways, moving I'll be, on. I'll be all hipster on that. Um, Bleach live-action actors reference Conrad or Forze days. So, yeah. So, for the Bleach live-action movie, which has Forze as Ichigo, Meteor as Ishida, and Conrad or Nadeshko as Orihime... She doesn't have a big one. Uh, so story. yeah, apparently posted by Bleach official Twitter account, three actors look back at the times they worked together during the Comrade of Four, uh, during Comrade of Forza, hence the picture above. So yeah, they reminisce about good times. So Ucho yay! Kita. Raven doesn't give a shit. He hates Forza. Yeah, you don't like Forza? He hates Forza. Like honestly, one of my least favorite writers. Like, 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 like one reason why? Doesn't like the high school setting. Number one, it's and it's not even like it is such a stereotypical American high school setting. It's like a fucking walking parody. Also, the main character, I fucking hate him. Oh, I love too hyper go active for you. get the that. I unlike Lane, who loves those characters. I really hate those characters. They drive me fucking insane. Especially when actually no, it, it is also weird to think like. Gantaro's all happy-go-lucky, and then we find out a few episodes later that both his parents are dead. Yeah. It's like, damn, this guy is just... He's just holding it in, then. Yeah, but that's why he's like, I'm gonna befriend everyone, and then befriended the villain at the end of the show. Also, awesome. also, Forze lost me when one of the major plot points was literally, we don't know who Kamen Rider Meteor is! <laughs> except, <laughs> except this one guy... Who just randomly always, showed up! Who randomly shows up and no, knows his shit. Disappears every time the monster before Meteor shows up, and his lit name is literally Meteor! Is it? Ryusei. Yeah, his name means Meteor. Ryusei means Meteor. Yes. His name is Meteor. She disappears before Meteor shows up. That sounds like almost and he every... fucking transferred in just before Meteor started showing up. That sounds like I... almost every Ultraman series ever. Yes. Hey, Especially hey, Ultraman hey, Orb. Hey, oh jeez! The oh, oh Orb's here! Alright, cool! Oh Orb's done! Guy, where have you been? Orb was just here! <laughs> Guys. And, 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 and Orb just said it. Don't fucking bring up Ginga S. Actually, yeah, we no, just found no, out something no, mind blowing. Yeah, but we'll leave that for the actual episode. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Before I start ranting about Forza more. <laughs> so, anyway. question, Raven: Are you going to watch the uh, the live action Bleach movie? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> do you like Bleach? I kind of do. We we all fell out of it because it really oh, yeah. was just it just kept dragging going. across. The I ne- I never finished reading the manga. <laughs> it just lost me. me but, was anyway. Cool and high. <laughs> But you know what? I might. But my problem with movies in general that come out of Japan. They always suck. No. Not even that. Some of them, I've seen really good ones. It's my problem with movies that come out of Japan. I get all hype when they announce it, and then they don't get subbed for fucking half a year. Yeah. And by the time they're subbed and I can watch it, you don't I care. don't care anymore. Yeah, the it, hype is gone. It's like when the, uh, <laughs> the live action My Love Story movie came out. Yeah, no. Like, oh, but speaking of, I finally watched fucking Mazinger Z Infinity the other day. Oh, oh, what do you think of it? It's really good. Wait, that's the new Mazinger movie, right? Yeah, the one that just came out. Like, I just saw it. 
and the subtitles I had were terrible. Oh. But I understood everything they were saying because it's Mazinger, so whatever. But Giant hey, robot, go fight. It's a little more yeah. complicated than that. But Aliens. Hey. Anyways, the, the Bleach movie's probably going to be like the first like 12 episodes before Rookie of fucking yeah. leaves. So. And they'll yeah. hype it up for a sequel. No, yeah. that was like the best part of Bleach. Well, no, I won't watch the live action My Love Story. Yes, yeah. yes it is. Thunder Breast Aurora. All right. The, the Roroni Kenshin live action movies are actually really freaking oh, played by, played Deno, by Yeah, Kamen. with Deno as fucking. Yeah, Deno as Kenshin, yes. <laughs> I ain't going back to Kamen Rider. No, because the man makes bank now. <laughs> no way can't afford him. <laughs> Anyways, next story. Next story, what is it? Uh, Ten- oh. Tenso Sentai Ghost Sagers, wait, go up. Main cast reunite after seven years. Yeah. So the cast of Ghost Sager reunites after seven years. All of them are doing stuff, and then the Black Ranger's like... He's off in New York becoming a lawyer. Stop! Because Stop he... giving me attention! <laughs> no, no, if they did announce Ghost Sager ten years later, I would be hands down waiting for that shit. He'd be praising to the gods himself. Whoever I... the gods were in, in Ghost ten... Sager. Just... Well, that. Ghost Sager? They, they, they were angels. Was it Gose? No. Oh. So, Gose, are we getting a 10 years later Ghost Sager movie? There's a perfectly good explanation for all this. <laughs> yeah. There's a simple explanation. Wait, uh, Chiba revealed in this Instagram post that he reunited with his fellow Ghost Sagers the other day. In his post, he stated that he thought that he cried on the way to the destination, but when he saw them, he was smiling and felt like he returned at that time. On his post, on the other hand, quoted a line from Ghost Sager's roll call, which is, protecting the plant is an angel's duty. Lastly, Ni- Niwa's post features a simple caption, angel. Aww. Nice. Aww, or a- what angel? <clears throat> well, Long story the, short, the Sentai range. series where everybody was technically an angel. Angel Rangers. Tensa, Tensa Sentai Ghost Sager, which I don't care what people say, Ghost Sager was an incredible show. I really liked it. I never watched it. I Monkey ears. It. Like you Anyways. Had, like different ra- like Ranger designs were cool. Six Ranger was awesome. Different villain factions, which was and they did it better than Bo Kenger. Alright. Moving Anyways. on. Anyways. Next up. Uh, Power Rangers Ninja Steel r- rumors. Twenty fifth <laughs> anniversary team up special returning Rangers. High five for calling it ninja shit. Yeah, because uh, apparently this 25th anniversary special is about the marriage of Tommy Oliver and Kat. Yeah, so apparently we get Brody the Red Ninja Steel Ranger, Coda the Blue Dino Charge Ranger. Well, the actual list is down below. Um, yeah. I forgot her fucking name. Yellow G- Super Mega Gia. Force Ranger. Gia. Uh, S- Jason David Frank, Kat, and Gemma. Well, there's more. Again, if you so, just keep scrolling down. So, there's uh, the list. There it is. Uh, Steve so, I, I was just kind of focusing on that. I'm, I'm sorry. So this is like, they, so at this point, and it's been this many years, the two characters never got married before this. No, just she kind of cat kind of vanished when Tommy came back in Dino Thunder. Yep. That's the thing. They were on break, I guess. I <laughs> oh no, it's Tommy's worst nightmare. What, an evil version of him that killed all of his best buddies and, and absorbed the White Ranger? No. A dear John letter. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're getting Jason David Frank, Catherine Sutherland, Sarah Hannah, Lee Ming Hu, uh, Sid Ward, Yoshi Sidarso, Jason Font, and Steve Cardenas. Oh, TJ is oh, coming just back. Happens that someone named Catherine is playing someone named Catherine. Yeah. That's the job. She That's turned it. into a cat. But it's cat with a K. She's cat with a C. You know, like the game Catherine. Yeah, no. Anyway. Fun little fact. Catherine, uh, Catherine Sutherland uh, auditioned for Dulcia in the Power Rangers movie. Oh, God. But she didn't get the role. But when Amy Jo Johnson mentioned that she was go- that she wanted to leave the show, they immediately ooh, contacted ooh, her. Ooh, 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 What? Yes, Catherine Sutherland. <laughs> Can I be the Pink Ranger? <sighs> Fine. Yay. But you got to come all the way to America. And you got to be a cat. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sign up. Anyways, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yelling's about those sorts of things. TJ. Anyways, moving on. What's next? Next story is Power Rangers Brothers accept request for Magical Girl or a photo shoot. I have no the idea. Power Yoshi Sudarso oh. and Peter Sudarso. Oh, okay. <gasps> What are we looking at, Raven? You're looking at a currently airing show called Magical Girl Ore, which is literally two guys who are magical girls. Oh. Is that the joke? Yes, that 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 is the joke. That is the entire thing. That joke sounds stupid. But is it good? Have I don't seen... know. I didn't bother watching it. I don't have the time these days. Fair enough. I watch the things I really like, and that's about it. Watching all the anime, huh? Like My Hero Academia. You, you get yeah, that. You, you, you try watching all the anime with the kid. That's true. Hey, watch it all the Watch anime. it with the kid! <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah! I'm sorry. Do you not understand what half of the shit I end up watching is? I mean, you are going to make Japanese their first language, right? Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, we're going to learn. <laughs> we a okay, baby? So the, the, the picture we just saw, that was just a fan art. That wasn't the actual actors wearing the outfits. So <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> no, this, this no, I want to see them wearing the outfits. I know. The, the, they're, they're not there yet, yet, but they're, they're not there, there yet. Somebody did a request to frigging, if you get so many retweets, mm -hmm. we'll do it. But anyways. Moving on. No one so cares. That, that's happening. So uh, so next up, Colorado Wizards, Tsuku Nagase announces marriage. So Colorado Beast is getting married. Woo! Is her name Belle? He's getting married to a model. Uh, it's the game Lila Lila So she is beautiful, so. Beauty and the Beast. God damn it. I miss those posters. They, for... I, I seriously, Lord Hellfire. When Tommy Oliver ditches the Rangers, he comes Colorado Cross. Yes. Oh no. Just green and gold cross. That Sento, is... I'm here to help you. Yeah. Yeah. I am the mask rider. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for a second, now, I thought that was two dudes. Whoa. Yeah, I thought that was a guy. <laughs> I'm, Whoa. I'm sorry. Can I just? I mean, wait, wait, wait. Which I'm one's cool with beast? Way. Yeah, the one, the one on, on the right. right. That's okay. So I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I just, can I just say this? His, 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 his fiance looks like Michael Jackson. A little bit. Look at the yeah. face. Oh. Look at the face. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Hey, I knew, okay. I knew he was Comrade Beast, but I didn't uh, know he was into that. Anyways, kind of congratulations stuff. on your marriage, you guys. That's Eat cool. all the mayo. Yeah, Ooh. remember lunchtime of the. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's gonna be giving her the mail, all right? Now, now, here's a good question. Do you think when common writers have kids, do you think they show them the current series, or to show that they were in first? Probably to show they were in first. I mean, let, uh, apparently, apparently, uh, or they Kendo Soji's first. daughter plays like, with a plays with a comic book doll. Not even when his when he was like, I never show. Her. Never and showed she her calls show. it daddy. <laughs> she just knows. <laughs> she just knows. <laughs> just. just Dada. She's the daughter that takes charge of. Her. Yeah. No. Like, ne Dada. Ne never showed the kid the series, but apparently she refers to the doll as daddy sometimes. It's like if we gave the red caster oh. plushie to, to, right? to an indigo caster. Yeah. <laughs> Dada. Anyway. Okay, moving on. Moving on. No, um, you had to put a hat on, on it, and then she tried to get. <laughs> and then she'd be like. <laughs> um, so Remix Riders PV01. Basically uh, gimmick, figure size, Bloodstark, and Rogue. Yay! So so for all those people that bought those Comrade Build gimmick figures, congrats, you finally have a Bloodstark and Night Rogue. Oh, that'd be figure. awesome if, oh, I already didn't have a Night Rogue SH Figure Arts right up there on my shelf. Yeah, I, hmm. I like my SH Figure Arts Bloodstark right, oh right, I don't have it because that thing fucking sold out in 25 minutes. I bet! Because Bloodstark became a popular character. I also, bet. Also, Ichi snagged like the one from Dave. The one. Yeah? He, he called first dibs on it. Bastard. So take it up with Ichi, not, not me. Anyway. Um. So yeah, Bloodstark. so Bloodstark, Dynamo, Figure, they're coming out end of June. Cool. Okay. Next, uh, next up. up. Oh. So here's some sad news. So um, sadly, one of the suit actors of one of the, the, Hell the Hell Bros, uh Fortunately, passed away jumping out of a window. Yeah. Fifth, uh, fifth, well, he was at a hotel fifth, with friends. A fifth story window attempting oh, to jump okay. onto an air mattress. Okay, no, so go down. He landed on the air mattress. Huh? 
He landed on the I Empire. know. Still died. Um, so on um, the June thirteenth, Daichi Nobe, uh he Wait, according to police, oh. Nobe was practicing a fall from a hotel's fifth floor, approximately fifteen meters high, onto an air mattress, according to his agency, staggered off the mat, falling to his side and losing consciousness. So he bounced. So he bounced and hit the ground. Shit. Uh, that's that's dark to think. He's the same age as me. Look what he was doing. He was suit acting. He was doing something with his life, Gar. The fuck? Who else is 21? Tom Holden. Fuck! <laughs> so that, okay, that, so it says that, here uh, that training is held once a year, but he, he just said he was familiar with falls, so something something must have else happened. Like, oh, like he, he he didn't land properly. It's He didn't land properly. He kind of bounced off the air mattress he was landing on and hit the ground anyway in the wrong position. And what are the odds that his no, character but it says he's, in he the show... He staggered. He staggered off the mat, though. Yeah, he staggered off the mat. That means he that means he kind of hit the mattress and then went off the mattress. Hey, Probably hit it, something it, wrong. It reminds me of that film you watched, Gar, like about that suit actor, and he did the, like, that like dangerous thing where it's yes. like, you could have died doing that. Uh, there's this movie that I have on my drive, which I want it to be subbed. It's called In the Hero, and it's about all these suit actors. Basically, just... The day in life of being a suit actor, and one of them gets the job of being a samurai, all in cloak. But the director has wants to do all in one take, no wires, no no special effects, and the guy does it. He gets caught on fire. Yep. It's like and lives and lives. Guys, suit acting may look fun, but it is a very dangerous job. Yeah. yeah. So rest in peace, good sir. We will miss you. Mm-hmm. And the thing so, it takes. So what are the, the what are the odds this happens the same week his character dies? I know I was gonna bring it up, but yeah. <laughs> oh. Rest in peace, help. Uh, rest in peace. Actually, Hel- Rose and Hel- Actually, Rose technically, Peter. they died in last week's episode. Wait, he was also in Zoo Odra and Q-Ring? Yeah, he's a suit actor. Yeah, and in X Aid apparently too. So. Yeah. Damn, their agency got. Yeah, if they work with Toei. Yeah. Um, Anyways, um. Hasbro now officially owns rights to the Power Rangers franchise, so it's official. Yeah, but we're still not going to get toys till April. Nope. Um, but yeah, so Hasbro now owns Power Rangers, so woo, Beast Morphers coming soon. Ooh. Yeah, Power Morphicon. Huh? How many years did that take? Uh, it just None. happened. It just happened. No, Hasbro never wanted Power Rangers. It's just Saban Brands is shutting down, and they wanted to make sure that their baby was in good hands. Yeah. They didn't want to leave that Bandai. Bandai was basically beating him as a child. The Bandai was having full control over what shows they adapted. Uh, yeah, and which Hasbro's like, so Hasbro would we'll take good them. care of him and cradle him Adopted in his or arms. Foster. Hey, remember those three Sentai we didn't adapt? Yeah, we're doing that now. I mean, it's material we can use. Why the fuck not? No, it, it, no, no. Hasbro's thinking of it as the perfect way. Uh, or, some, like, Bandai's like, oh, there's not enough things in it. Your Power Rangers. How many things do you make toy exclusives of that don't even appear in the show? Yeah. And you're saying, oh, because there's eight Zords, you can't make a series around that? Blaze has this about, right? Hasbro is Child Protective Services. Bandai is the abusive dad. No, he's the drunk dad. <laughs> Back here, Power Rangers. Disney was the abusive dad. I swear, boy. Yeah. And then, well, there's rumors that Hasbro plans on. You know how there's only three years left with Nickelodeon? Mm-hmm. Hasbro, there are rumors that Hasbro might reboot the franchise all the way back to Mighty Morphin. No, oh, no, don't do that. Just keep... don't more Mighty Morphin. No. Nope. Moving forward. No more nostalgic Mighty Power Rangers. Forward. Forward. Anyways, moving on. And last story, Gar, we'll let you talk about this. Oh, yeah. So, um, one, first things first. Kyle Higgins has confirmed that he's leaving the Power Rangers comic. Aww. Uh, in due time. And he hasn't released a reason why yet. But we now have our official team after the Shatter Grid comic. Or after the Shatter Grid event. And this team includes the Magnum Defender from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Uh, Power... Uh, the Zero, Zero Ranger 2 Yellow. Uh, the Ranger Slayer, which is a alternate timeline uh, Kimberly. Yeah, that. Yeah. She's awesome. Um, Green Samurai Ranger from Ninja Storm. 
And if you go down... Yeah. Uh, Sorry, the list is up top. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to give him something yeah. to read. Uh, the Red in Space Ranger. And lastly, this shocked everyone, the Dark Ranger, a.k.a. what was originally going to be known as the Talon Ranger in Power Rangers Dino Charge. And he was uh, Death Ranger from the Kill Ranger movie. Yeah. So... Spino. So he's finally he's finally in Power Rangers. That's cool. You know? It's the evil Coda. <laughs> well, well, no, Blaze. It like he is officially now known as the Dark Ranger, not the Talon. So we Ranger. thought like we thought Snide was going to be. Uh, well, no, that's what, that's what everyone believed. It's like, oh, he's going to show up as an evil Ranger because of Snide because he's of Heckle. Got, he's got dark hair and gem. And then it's like, oh. Yeah, we don't have the rights to the movie, so he can't show up. Ooh. That's the reason why he never showed up in Dino Church. We didn't have the rights to the summer movie, which means we can't use the suit. Mm-hmm. Womp womp. He was going to get a Bandai of America toy with the boy Zandra. That would have made the set worth it. Yeah. A new ranger, a new figure. Yep. But then when one of the makers from Hasbro, uh, not Hasbro, Bandai of America left, they added in the Red Ranger. Hmm. Because it's cheaper, we have more in stock. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, so yeah, so that has been extra that extra is cast a cool ranger. So, yeah, geez. yeah, that's a really cool fucking poster. Um, so, now I want to know what happened to the original team. Right? The dragon killed them. Maybe. Um, Everybody died. Gar. So Everybody. Or is this like a Crisis on Infinite Earth type of thing, where Not it's either. a new timeline? Yeah, maybe. Uh, so this has been Extra Extra Cast Ranger, and we'll see you on the podcast proper. Bye-bye. 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 Ranger is brought to you by our generous patrons, Oliver Nilsson, and viewers like you.